As soon as we learned where Vince told Quan LX where the remains were, our Robert Arnold and his photographer started driving to Arkansas. They've been on the road all afternoon. Let's go to him now. Robert, many new developments as you make that trip to the Hope area tonight. Yeah, we're a little less than an hour away from this area just outside the town of Hope where all these different law enforcement agencies have converged in Hempstead County, Arkansas. And as you heard, that includes the head of Houston's homicide. That's going to be Commander Michael Skillern. We did have a chance to speak with him. He said these remains that have been found will have to be brought back to Houston. A lot of forensic work has to be done to establish a positive identity. But he did share with us that right now indications are pointing towards this being Malia Davis, but again, no absolute confirmation. Given the information we have uh, and the fact that we have found uh, a crime scene here, one would assume it may be our, our victim. Uh, it may be Malia, but again, we can't, we can't be certain of that until we get everything back on. Can you tell if it's a child, an adult? Uh, it's going to be a child. And again, those remains will have to be brought back to Houston, where the forensic work will be done to ab uh, to establish a positive identity in this case. Now, this started snowballing, as you heard my colleague Mario Diaz talk about very quickly this morning after Darian Vince had that meeting in jail with Quanell X. After getting that information, Houston investigators immediately called investigators in Arkansas, specifically Hempstead County Sheriff's Office. They sent crews out there along with state police, as well as officers with Arkansas's Game and Fish Commission. They were all scouring that area. That's when they got the word from a road crew about 10 miles away from when they were actually searching that this crew had come across this black bag emitting a foul odor. That's when they went out there and they did find what they described as those remains. Again, we're about a little less than an hour away from there. We get to, we'll hope to talk with Commander Skiller and get a little more information and, of course, update you throughout the evening. Reporting live, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.